right then hi guys and um, just a quick one i am back from my massage and again he says i'm pretty much the best i've been um he said my legs are better again and um, this is it with sir um i'm a bit sore now though so just then um, finishing running the bath that might start for me and i'm gonna have a go with this <coughs> this thing so i mean i'm not embarrassed about my teeth as it's you know it's life and the fact that yeah i probably didn't look after myself for a lot of years and pharmaceuticals are no good for your teeth they damage your teeth i smoked i did bongs of course i'm going to have discolored teeth slightly so i'm going to try and get rid of it and see if i can improve it a little bit because it looked better on photographs but yeah one guy on facebook said something about the color of my teeth and it's like i felt like saying to him i might have bad teeth but at least i'm not a cunt <laughs> sorry but it's true do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, we've all got our own little problems and it doesn't need highlighting. You know what I mean? That could have stopped me from wanting to smile on camera, but, you know, you know it's, it's, but a lot of people it would have put off and, and we don't need that type of negativity. You know, nobody does. So, my today is chilling. I've got one of my homemade bath melts, so it's like a nice and shave to my hair again. But it is still really dry and it's still really thin and um yeah hopefully it'll start to improve a bit i'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to baths i like it I'm, I'm one of these elbow testers like a baby so i'm gonna get that partly full let that start melting um go and have a wee volcano because i've just had to drive back from hesel which is like a 50 minute drive and i need a volcano now and um i'm going to go and chill in the bath after my <sighs> Actually, it's been a really quite relaxing uh, massage. It's been, it's been good. I need to keep the shoulders down. Stop doing that. Do that. You know, I'm not talking just to myself. I'm talking to other people when you're holding your phone. Don't start to do that with it. Keep your shoulders back and down. You feel like a ballerina. Pretend you're a ballerina. You know, graceful and all. Uh, yeah, I know. I whatever. But you know what I mean. It's just if if that's how what it takes to be able to pin then that's what i'm gonna do I, I don't care i mean at one point i was doing four hours bloody actual in the gym two hours in the wet area and then hardly sleeping just to stay out of pain and admittedly that was because my brain was seriously broken at least now all i've got to do is be conscious of my posture and just walk a bit more correctly and hold myself a bit more correctly but i'm just trying to educate other people to the fact that you can be like that too you don't have to be in pain you don't have to be so tense nobody has to be oh, well life makes us tense but we need to change life we need to change perception we need to change people and cannabis cannabis is the key to doing that and psychedelics psychedelics would help i get so tempted to just flood the water supply and just see <laughs> see what would happen do you know what i mean because all the people that have done really really bad stuff in their life they'd either work through it and become nicer people or they'd um, yeah not be able to cope with it and um i think that's what um that um oh god bird box is about i don't know it, it seems a little bit i'm sorry i'm having to come into the sun because it's lovely it's um really nice See, now that we've got rid of a bit of that tree, there's quite a bit of um, light. I've still got a lot more to go at it, but absolutely, and that dog is just lovely. He's a noisy little bugger, but he's lovely. I don't know if you can see him, but um, yeah, he's a fussy. So I have got a, a new bag of old clothes. I've bought myself a little. Some of, some of it's second hand, some of that's old stuff. Some of it I still can't quite get away with wearing. I just still ain't got the arse for it. So it's um, going to be mostly shorts that cover myself and keep myself decent. I'm going to risk taking some skirts on the off chance that I think I might dare not flash my arse and um, yeah, and my yoga pants. <laughs> oh no, right. Oh well, time to chill and be out of pain again. And um, just to, I don't know, everybody, Linda, was it Linda that said I'm your inspiration? And do you know what I mean? It, it's it can be done it can be done if i can get out of pain and the amount of pain that i was in and the conditions i had the pain levels being blue lighted to hospital if i can do it anybody can do it and so and don't give up after the first hurdle because it's not been a straight path for me it's been 
I, 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 I mean, I thought I had MS at one point. I started getting better, then I started getting worse. And, you know, we thought I had MS and then I've improved massively. It, it's just, it's um, just going to take time, but just give it time. And um, like I said to somebody, I think it might even have been Linda, if um, you haven't already done so, um, try treating your illness as um, an unprepared Kundalini awakening. You don't have to totally believe in everything that it says. I didn't, but I started treating it as such, and that's when I started getting better. So just give it a try. It can't help. It can't, it can't help. It can't hurt, and it probably will help. But um, the first thing is drink plenty of water. Drink lots of water, and if you think you're not drinking enough water, drink some more water. Speaking of which, I've got a dry mouth, and I'm not drinking enough water. I'm really, really thirsty. Where on earth is your drink of water on the go? There's a drink of water on the go over here. My kind of, we've got our blinds finally, so we're no longer flashing everything because I've been trying to not be naked in front of all the neighbours and ugh, I'm a bit beyond caring. So it's like, it's a bit tricky, but Mike don't like it. If you're thirsty, drink, drink plenty. And electrolytes, again, I've mentioned it before, drink electrolytes, if you're drinking a lot of water, Drink electrolytes to replenish the salts that you're possibly sweating out, but I don't know, I've just found that they're helpful. Um, I just found that they stop me from needing to drink quite so much water, and then you're not spending half your life on the toilet. But like I say, I think there is the scientific reason behind it, that it's flushing cortisol out of your body, bad cortisols. I might be wrong, I might be talking a load of bollocks, but the fact is it's worked, so... <laughs> Even if it's a load of bollocks, it's some bollocks that's worked. So, um, I don't know, I just wish there was some like doctors or scientists or anybody that was actually interested in sort of like looking into what's happened here, researching it and seeing if there's, I don't know, any way we can help other people just by like studying what's happened. I do have scans, but I just wish that they'd done a full body MRI, but definitely got the MRI of the knee and I've got the died ones from when I was in my 20s. Has there been any actual structural physical changes from using cannabis and psychedelics? It'd be so interesting to find out and I don't know, maybe that's the next step. But um, yeah, I'll have to start pestering people at Product Earth, won't I? Have I got coffee on my nose? I usually do. I'm a bugger for it. Because I've got like a tiny little birthmarky thing there or a mark that's just an age mark. And then I get coffee stuck to it as well, which makes it even worse. Right, enough waffling. I'm off to do a face mask. Eh? God knows what else. What do you do? What do you do when you're going out? You do things like face masks. You do your hair. I need to make some hair stuff because I always make my own. Shave. Um, do my teeth thingy and see if it actually makes a difference. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, we'll find out. If it does, then there we go, I can give you a recommendation and now we'll be getting paid for it because I haven't signed anything up with a company which was a bit stupid, really. You never know, they might send me some free stuff if I ask nicely. <laughs> Anyways, right, I'm off to chill, guys. Have a great evening and I look forward to seeing anybody that Product Earth that is going to be at Product Earth and if you're not going to be at Product Earth, um, just, I don't know, Enjoy the videos that I post, enjoy the pictures and enjoy watching what everybody else posts and talks about because there's shitloads, seminars and all sorts of stuff going on. So and hopefully you can make it next year. Right. Bye guys.